All right, now we get to track number 10, The Thing Out of Control. Here we have a tune I'm also familiar with. I, I'm not sure if this is on Wafer. You had sent me this music, but I'm familiar with this tune. Um, and it rocks. And what is exactly The Thing Out of Control? Is it human society? Is it the way things are today? Because basically, that title describes this economy. It's the thing that's out of control. Actually, we're talking about natural resources, you know. Denison wrote this, this lyrics. I think he summed it up very well in these lines, you know. Something uh, we, we, we're doing bad, you know. We, we're not... We, actually, it's a bad use of natural resources. I think it's the best way to describe this lyric, you know. Hmm. Simple and complete. I got you. I, I follow you now. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Very cool. Alright, let's go crank this up for the fans that have not heard this tune before. Here is the thing out of control. Alright, now we come to the last track off of this album, Airs of Freedom. And uh, it was it was funny because Wednesday night I was on the air and I, I saw this music and I, I got this music and I already had cued the collector on to the show and then you came into the chat room and says great you'll be able to hear it and it was exci it's always exciting to see my metal brothers and sisters my metal brothers and sisters in bands coming to the chat especially when they have a tune already in queue waiting for them and uh, so that was great to see you it's always great to see you and I, but I know you're a busy guy and especially at night time I think it's what it's now this time of year it's two hours different so you came in 11 o'clock at night your time and uh, how would you like hearing your tune on the year by the way <laughs> it's all, it was a great surprise for me, you know. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, like it was for me to see you there. And, uh, I, but like I said, we were talking about this interview and you know my work situation. And, I, but like I said to you, and I, will, I speak straight, I tell you, you know, when I say something, I, I mean it. And there was no way I was not going to get with you to do this interview before I headed back to work. And, uh, once we got this set up to do it, you told me afterwards that you didn't get my last message because I know it was coming to the crunch time because I have like two weeks to go back. So I says, man, yeah. you don't have much time to play around now. I got to get with all these interviews I promised. I, I got to make sure I get these done. Otherwise, I'm going to ruin my reputation. Not just joking. But anyway. Yeah, great. Great, we, we, we could do that before your time out. You Absolutely. Know, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm was, really happy for that. I would, felt, I would have felt awful I mean, it would be eight months before I come back and have this music out there and not be able to spread the word now while it's fresh. So, you know, things happen for a reason and it was perfect timing. So I'm glad that we got this done, like I said before. But getting back to this last tune, The Collector, I love this tune. It's brand new to me and I said, wow, let's play this tune. And it's one of my favorites off the CD. And uh, what is this? tune about the collector what is he collecting yeah. yeah it's another current topic related with the same thing of the previous song but now here I'm more acid in my words against the authorities you know all the people who has the conditions to make the things different but because of personal interests they don't do so the collector is the death you know, uh -huh. like something, something like coming to collect your souls. You know, something like that. I see. You're paying the price for not being, for not, for not use uh, to have a, that bad use of natural resources. You know. I got you. That, this makes for a very interesting album. The, the themes within your music is about society, about you want to say nature, the way things are. And it's kind of rebelliousness against this situation, which I appreciate very much. Great, great. I think it's, it's nice to wrote about these topics because uh, we have a, a great, you know, number of people, which is young, younger boys and and older ones. And the younger boys they pay attention a lot to what you wrote. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right, let's crank up the collector for these people out there listening, the Metal Maniacs. Crank up this last tune off of Airs of Freedom. Track 11, kick the collector, and kick ass, exactly. 
All right, Metal Maniacs, there you have it. You heard the CD showcase. You heard the full CD by Masterpiece. Brand new album, Heirs of Freedom. That was really great. Hedgeson, I enjoyed that, talking about this music. I love spreading the word on it. I want to thank you for taking the time to do this CD showcase with me. Ah, I have to thank you. It was my pleasure, man. You're great. <laughs> You're great. You're the musician. <laughs> I'm only the one spreading the word, you know, so I appreciate what you've done here. <laughs> and, you know, I really am proud of you guys. Let me tell you. Oh, but, you know, your work is really important to us. You know that. Of course. Like I've said before on, on previous interviews, it's not necessarily about the band. It's not about the DJ. It's not about the station. It's about everything in this metal world of us. We're in the underground here, and we need the bands, we need the DJs, we need the station, we need promoters, we need everybody, the musicians, all united together to get this word out, to spread the word, to make sure this music is heard on the air, and that's what we do, that's what we're here for, so it's pretty much to be expected, so you know you can count on us at any time, brother. Yes, it is, you're right. Yeah. So uh, you were mentioning earlier when I was asking you about if the band was signed or not. So the band is, uh, the music from Masterpiece is available on digital download. Do you have the physical copies made too? Or are you waiting for a label to do that with you? Well, we don't have the physical CD yet. That's what know, I thought. But, uh, yeah, but we are not exactly waiting for the labels. Uh, we hope to have the physical copies soon, you know. So, so are you going to probably do it yourselves? Uh, actually, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably do it by myself. Yeah, know, for ourselves. Yeah. That that's a, that's the way it is today. You know, bands today, they're they're working with Pro Tools online, and they're they're doing things in their basement. They're doing things in their studio, their own studio, and they're taking the responsibility uh, for themselves without dealing with a lot of the uh, labels out there because l even if you are you know signed to a band you're not going to make any more money and you probably make more if you do it yourself and sell it yourself but it's a lot of work i mean any band out there cannot tell you that it's not a lot of work you know it's a lot of work uh, but yeah, yeah. with that being said whether you release it yourself or you find a label that suit your needs you know i'm really stoked about this offering from you and i hope that you find what suits your needs the best. Whether you release it yourself or whether you find a label that works with you, I just hope that this music is out there, a physical copy soon, and we can spread the music around the world and have it available that people could either buy it online or, you know, through some other distribution or what have you. So we hope that we could have this happen for the fans. And, and speaking of the fans, does Masterpiece have any merchandise out there for them that they could support the band, whether you have t-shirts or or whatever? What do, you, do you have anything out there for the fans? No, for a while we're just working with, with the songs, you know. Uh, we hope to have in the future, in the soon future, we have, uh, we, 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 we hope to have t-shirts, patches and something like that, you know. Uh, but things you guys you have to 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 be how can i say uh all the things you find soon at the masterpieceonline.net that's great that's great because you but, need to you need to have that because you know bands today uh even the bigger bands that have been around for 30 years or 20 years i mean I, i've talked to several bands as you know and one thing that i realize is that there's really not much money on the music side of the uh, of the business, people aren't really selling the music because of the day and age of, of downloading. But they tell me where they make the most of their money is from doing the sh live shows and selling merchandise at, at their shows. But I can't see that being enough. You gotta have something, and I'm looking forward to the time that you have something available online for the fans to purchase your stuff, to support the band, because that's what this is all about. Supporting the band, supporting Masterpiece, and in order for you to survive out there and for us to have the pleasure of listening to future masterpiece music you got to make some sort of a living doing this and if you're not going to be doing it by you selling the albums if people are going to be downloading it then they need to support you either at the live shows or by purchasing merchandise so that being said I, I, I'm looking forward to the future of Masterpiece having all this happen for them and I really want you guys to succeed and survive out there Great, great. 
Oh, was, of course. Uh, Brother Henderson, <laughs> what do you do when you're not doing bad stuff? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm a guitar teacher here. That's, yeah, right, that's no. what I thought. Yeah. yeah, That seems yeah. to be the case a lot with especially uh, up-and-coming bands or bands that have been around coming up with their, their first album or second album. Uh, what they do to survive is they, they teach guitar or they're, you know, yeah. doing something like that. So how many students you have? How often do you do this? Do you have, you know, regularly scheduled lessons that you teach? Uh, or is yeah. it just like a sporadic thing that comes and goes when it comes? Actually, I have a music school here, you know. You got an actual school? Yeah, yeah. It's in a school and I teach all the, during the whole week, you know. Uh, not even little boys and other ones. And I think uh, teach is something special, you know. It's like my contribution against the nation. <laughs> something like that, you know. I see, I see. Okay. And I, I also do freelances, you know, supporting local artists in shows and recording studios. Actually, I, I'm, I'm working 24 hours a day with music. Wow, so you keep very busy. Yeah, yeah, very. it's very busy stuff. Sometimes I play Sunday by Sunday, Sunday to Sunday, you know, I don't have a rest. I see. So it's you, very hard work. So you're working hard out there. But are you happy at the present time with where you are in the band and in, in the life of Hedges and Silva? Are you happy in this current day and age? Yes, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Uh, the new CD is out. Uh, I have a music school. Uh, I'm playing a lot. Uh, of course, I, I hope to, to grow more and more. But I'm very happy now. Excellent. I'm great to hear that. Really delighted to hear that. So what is next for, for Masterpiece? Or what's next for you even? Now, we hope to do to have a lot of shows. Uh, I think it's the most important thing to do now, shows, and spread the word, and spread this new CD. After that, we will sit down and start it again, another CD and stuff, you know. Excellent. So you're going to start the writing for the next offering. So that's good yeah. to know that you, there'll be more music coming out, whether it's a year from now or two years from now. So I want to book it now. We're going to have you come back on the show on the Metal Meltdown on Metal Messiah Radio when you have your new music out. We'll do a CD showcase for that album when that comes out too. Whether it's a year, whether it's two years, whenever it is. But definitely going to have to have you come back and do a follow-up and, and talk more about that music when it comes out. Of course, and it would be a pleasure for us to, to come back. Maybe we one day come back to, um, to the whole band, you know? It would be awesome. Yeah, we can do that. Why not, you know? Should be fun and interesting, a nice challenge. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So, Hedison, is there anything that you'd like to tell your fans at this time that are tuning in? Oh, I would like to say to people who are listening to us to enjoy Hairs of Freedom. It was a hard work made for you guys, and we love to do that. You can find us everywhere on the internet. You can like our page at facebook.com slash masterpiece fan page. Or you can follow us on Twitter with Masterpiece Band. And now we are at Google Plus too. You know, search for Masterpiece Band right there. I think that's the most important message for now to the fans. How to find Masterpiece on the internet. We are everywhere. Excellent. I just said I'm really proud of you, brother, as you know. As I am for the entire band. And I'm telling you, man, I am really stoked that we got to do this. Been looking forward to it for years, actually. And uh, yeah. once it's all done, it's like, yay, you know, we finally got it done. And I, I think we covered a lot, you know, we got to talk about the entire album, we got to talk about you, and everything related pretty much to Masterpiece. But I, I want to make sure that we got everything covered. So that being said, if there's anything that we could bring to the people that we haven't discussed, we could do so at this time. Well, I think everything was said, I just have to thank you for this opportunity. I think it was great, great to speak and spread the word. I think to, to the fans, I have to say, being sincere, being honest with your feelings, listen to your favorite songs, live your life day by day, carry about your family, friends, fuck your woman with love, man. It's very important. Isn't very it? nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah. Buy our songs, you know, and turn it up. Yeah, I hope you're getting some action yourself, brother. Okay, thank you, Dave. You're great. No, no, it's no problem. All right, bro. 
before we go, I just want to thank you again for this opportunity. I want to thank you because you made this possible. It's about all about your band, your music, and you know you have a lot of friends out there, and you see them in chat. People are familiar with you, and uh, even when you're not there, people talk about. Henderson, they talk about Masterpiece, and uh, you've got a lot of respect out there from the people through the years, so just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I wish you and all in the circle of Masterpiece the best in 2012 and all the years to come. So, cheers, bro, and let's crank up some more Masterpiece. Thank you. Crank it up. Crank it up. Loud.